Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today we have our very first 2023 new arrival to show you. This is the 2023 Forest River Grand Surveyor Model 267 RBSS. And I apologize in advance for both the wind noise and for me sounding a little groggy today. I'm kind of getting over a little something here. But uh, this particular trailer comes in at just over 6,000 pounds as we see it here today and is going to be 30 feet 7 inches in overall length. Now this is their only offering currently in the Grand Surveyor line and it is a 30 foot rear bath couples trailer that's completely carpetless, has an outside kitchen, Asdale sidewalls, a simple solar package, and tons of other great features and amenities that I think you're going to really like. So with that being said, let's go ahead now and we will jump on to the inside and start with the living area. Okay guys, so we're on the inside of this 267 RBSS surveyor. And as you can see here, number one, this is new for 2023, completely carpetless. And really they started that in about March of 2022, but it is a very standout quality that not a whole bunch of people are still doing. And you know, some people say they're completely carpetless, but they have this kind of indoor outdoor rug thing in the slide out. Surveyor, they did it the right way in my opinion with the linoleum in the slide out. Now this is new colors for 2023. So you've got a new wood color, new fabric color. It's very similar to 2022, but I really like the look. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. <clears throat> so as we start off here, you have an optional piece of equipment. This is their theater seat option. You can get this with a hide a bed sofa if you so choose. And I like, this personally um, one of the neat things too is this has the fold down middle console here so you can have four cup holders or you can make it more of like a love seat now we decided to go with the standard booth dinette as you can see here there is a freestanding table and chairs option available as well now you can also see you've got big windows all of them, except for this big dinette window, do open for airflow, uh, which is really nice. And you can see that you've got the roll down blackout shades too, which is a really good feature. All your countertops in here are going to be a sealed pressed membrane thermal foil style countertop. I really like that pattern on there too. It gives it more of a stone look. And you can see that you've got the white accent light in here as well which is again really nice i like that it's not blue now if we take a seat at the theater seat i'm sitting at the left hand seat currently you can see that you're directly across from the tv now it is a lit mounted just a little bit high for my liking but i understand why they did that you can also see that you've got the Furion sound bar here too, which is really nice. That'll control your interior and exterior speakers uh, and is Bluetooth, which is really nice. Now, for those of you who have been asking, for example, in our 252 RBLE video for one with a fireplace, this one checks that box. So fireplaces are standard, which is very nice. You can also see that, or one of the things you won't see is heat vents in the floor this has a completely carpetless or um, not carpetless uh there's no heat vents in the floor is what i was trying to say there we go you can also see over there in the kitchen that you have central vac in the surveyors now now these are going to have the hoses uh those will ship out uh starting 8 august 1st with the hoses but they're anything that shipped out sooner than that they are going to go ahead and take care of you and get you the hoses. <clears throat> I like the fact that they do this vent up here too. It's not a powered vent, but it's a vent no less. And 
you've got a really good kitchen space. Standard 15,000 BTU air conditioner. This particular one has the 50 amp service. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> so 50 amp service on this one as well. Uh, that way you can add a second air conditioner. And I'll show you where that goes here in just a little bit when we get to the bedroom. But without further ado, let's go ahead now and take a look at this kitchen space. Because I tell you, for a 30-foot trailer, it's got a really good kitchen. All right, guys. So before we dive into the storage, I do want to mention, here's your solar charge controller for your 80 watt standard solar panel. You're also gonna have your lights and slide out and awning controls right here, easy to get to. I like that they're not super low, so if you've got littles with you, they're not going to uh, be inclined to you know, hit all these buttons and stuff. As we spin around, you've got your pantry. Now, I love this door. I love the fact that it's got the glass accent to it. Really like their cabinet poles too. They just, you know, they've got a good weight and feel to them. You can see you've got a motion sensor light there couple of coat hooks and great storage space here as well. And I like that it doesn't come all the way front or, you know, to the, to the front of the thing here. Um, mainly because it's more of a walk-in pantry. And just so you know, you can see through that when the motion sensor light is on. Now above these theater seats, you've got a couple of extra cabinets here. All these cabinets in the surveyor are gonna be pocket screwed cabinetry. So if you feel back here, you can feel where the screw actually goes into the wood. I really like that these are strut supported cabinets. And as we kind of look in there, you can see that's a good amount of space. And I really like that they went ahead um, and did that. And did I mention, man, their, their counter or their cabinet pulls, they just have a good feel to them. They almost, they feel more residential than a lot of other stuff out there. You've got the easy access dinette storage here, which is very nice. I really like that. Um, you do have to take the cushions off to be able to get to it, but it is great for, you know, not everyday use things, um, or if you wanna use it for pots and pans or big cases of water, things like that. <clears throat> now above the fireplace, you've got a decent little kick of storage for whatever you wanna use it for. And just so I don't back into these, I'm going to go ahead and shut those. And then again, here's a good look at that cabinet or the not cabinet or yeah, the cabinet color. Excuse me. You've got the Furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge. This is what they're going with this year. So there's your fridge portion and then your freezer portion up top. One thing on this particular fridge that I always like to point out to people is there is a fuse on the back side uh, of this particular fridge that can sometimes pop. Um, I will be talking to the manufacturer about that because it, you really do need a access door on the back side of that. You do have your microwave hood range combo. Again, you can see here is uh, your approximate MSRP as well as some specs on the trailer. You got the three burner Furion cooktop with the glass cover. I'm gonna go ahead and fold that down because there's a couple of neat things they're doing back here. So number one, you've got a knife block back here. You've also got the surveyor utensil cup. And new for 2023, you've got this really cool butcher's block cutting board. I really do like that. Thermofoil press membrane countertops easy access appliance outlets and let's see are there any no they didn't put them up here at all i absolutely love that great countertop space you've got the high-rise spring-loaded sprayer faucet um only half a sink cover um i kind of wish they would give you the whole full thing like they did last year small countertop extension three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers And then in here, you're gonna have a great amount of storage space. And notice it goes back there quite a bit. So I do really like that. Now up top here, you've got a great amount of storage space there. 
This side is a little bit deeper. I kind of wish they'd put a shelf in here, but uh, that is perfectly fine. And it works great, if, especially if you've got taller items. Now going back to the fridge uh, for just a moment, these do come standard with a TPMS system from TST. This is really cool. Our Rogue products have been doing this for a couple of years. Um, Surveyor, this is new and it is standard on all surveyors for 2023. So with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for the kitchen storage. Let's go ahead now and we'll look at the bathroom because I'll tell you, for a 30 foot camper, this has got a really, really well done bathroom. All right, guys, so stepping back into the bathroom, first thing you've got is a nice pocket uh, sliding barn door. So I really do like that. It's nice and wide to get in here. You've got thermofoil pressed membrane countertops, a interestingly small sink, but that's good countertop space. You've got great cabinet space underneath there. Easy light switch, even for little kids. You've got a GFI protected outlet and your tank monitoring panel with your water pump, water heater uh, on both gas and electric switches there. Toothbrush holders underneath the mirror. And you can see you've got a medicine cabinet, not just a mirror glued to the wall. You've got towel hooks over here. A great linen cabinet space right there. So great space down there. Window that does open. You've also got the four inch fart fan up there. AC and heat ducts in the bathroom. And then you've got more linen cabinet space over here. A absolutely terrible placement on that toilet paper holder. Um, but it is a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of room around there. Personally, I would move this to right here. Um, that's what I would do. And then you've got a 30 by 36 inch shower. You've got these slow close uh, shower curtain there. Nice big corner shelves that will actually fit uh, shampoo and soap and things. And then you can see you've got a very decent placement on that skylight. I am a 6'2", six, 6'3", six, depending on what shoes I'm wearing. And I can easily fit in this shower. It's really nice if you're, you know, a taller person. With that being said, let's go ahead now and we will jump up front to the master bedroom. All right, guys. So coming into the master bedroom, you've got another one of those barn style doors. Nice big entrance. This is a 60 by 80 true queen bed. It does have some storage underneath there, plywood bed base. You've got household and USB outlets on both sides. And this whole bedroom storage has been revamped for 2023. You've got two full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer, guided drawers there. You've got a great amount of hanging space there. And then they went away from those stupid cargo nets across the whole surveyor family. So now you're gonna have cabinets here. Those are on uh, strut supported uh, hinges so they will actually hold themselves open. You've got lots of light in here, dual windows that open. You're gonna have a TV backer over here. So if you wanna mount a small TV in there, you can do that. Now this is a 50 amp unit. So you can uh, put a second air conditioner in place of that vent. And somewhere around here, I actually need to find this. They have this pre-wired for a bedroom thermostat. Um, I guess I'm not seeing where they put that. I'll have to find that. Um, but that's one thing they do in any 50 amp services. They give you the bedroom thermostat option. Now up here, you've got a neat little cubby hole with power on each side of the bed. That also is gonna have a uh, cup holder, as you can see over there, which is really nice. Plus you've got that awesome front windshield. So with that being said, pardon my terrible camera work, that's gonna wrap it up for the interior 
of the 2022 or 2023 surveyor or grand surveyor 267. Before we hop out to the outside, let's close this slide up and look at it in road mode. Okay guys, so with the slide out closed, you can get to your pantry. You can easily get to the bathroom for a quick travel stop. You can get to the theater seats, the dinette. You can get to the refrigerator completely. Same thing with the freezer. And you can get to all of your kitchen storage here, which is really nice. Now, as you can see, you're not getting to that bedroom very easily. Um, without So without putting the slide out out, this is not a good camper for staying overnight in, say, a Walmart parking lot. Unless you want to put the slide out out. All right, guys. So we're on the outside of this Grand Surveyor 267 RVSS. So starting up front here, you've got a power tongue jack, two 20-pound propane tanks. You've got the leash connection or set, uh, safety chain holder. Up here, you're going to have your seven-way plug holder, rails for your battery. You've got a battery disconnect. And then this little guy here is your signal repeater for the tire pressure monitoring system. Now, what the big difference, and I get asked this all the time, what's the difference between a Grand Surveyor and a Surveyor Legend? And the biggest difference, and that we'll tell you, is this three-quarters fiberglass front cap. The Legends do not have this. And also, you know, the badging, Grand Surveyor. You've got your four corner stabilizer jacks. Those are manual. Nice big pass-through storage, magnetic holdbacks. Slam latch on this door here. You've got a motion sensor light. Three quarters uh, jack bit for your stabilizer jacks. And then here is the griddle for the outside kitchen. This is an all aluminum cage product, aluminum bed bases, great pass-through storage. Again, slam latches there. You're also gonna have a four stair heated and enclosed underbelly with optional tank heaters. You don't see that propane quick connect back there. You've got a very nice sized power awning with LED light strips in that awning dual outside speakers and then here is going to be where your um, outside kitchen is so in this section here is a dump sink that I have currently stored underneath the bed and then right here is where your griddle would go you're also going to have an outside mini refrigerator and a cold water spray port that's what this guy is here great looking black aluminum wheels. And then right here, you're going to have your cable and power for an outside TV that, if you want to put one there. <coughs> Surveyor now uses the black glass entry doors that are super popular. You're also going to have a more ride step above steps with the Surveyor logo in there. And there's actually, a, that's backlit too, which is nice. And then right here, you've got your larger entry assist handle. Surveyor does use the Asdale composite sidewalls, which is uh, a green-based composite material that is waterproof, mold-proof, and mildew-proof. It has twice the insulation and half the weight of the competition that uses a lawn or wood backer behind the fiberglass. You can see you've got a standard roof ladder, backup camera prep, and on the Grand Surveyor, you have the standard bike utility rack and spare tire carrier. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> right here, it's gonna be your 50 amp service. You've got your city water, black tank flush, and cable and power right there. You can also see that you do have your black and gray tank dumps for the bathroom. Right here is your slide out. It is prepped for the Solera slide awning toppers. And let's see if this is a dual gray tank model. I believe it is. So you do have another gray tank right there for the kitchen. 
lastly up here is your six gallon gas and electric water heater direct spark ignition and your fresh water tank fill so with that being said guys that's gonna wrap it up for the 2023 Sur grand surveyor 267 rbss if you're interested in this particular unit and you would like pricing and availability or if you have any questions you can put those down in the comment section down below you can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can email us at contact at custom-rv.com i'll also post a link in our video description where you can check pricing and availability at any time remember guys if you enjoyed this video do me a favor hit that like button we greatly appreciate that that really helps promote our video to other rv buyers and enthusiasts like yourself and if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below that'll help stay up to date or help you stay up to date with all of our new videos coming out remember guys at custom rv we don't do any hidden dealer fees we leave those up to the big box dealers and we know that rvs are made for women so men can go camping all right guys that's going to wrap it up we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. We hope to see you out on our lot very soon or hear from you via text or email or phone. Uh, and have a wonderful rest of your day.